the Charlie Hall chase next is an early season gold cup pointer and it's a grade two three mile one furlong event and the top one is bit of a barish for david robertson bucko martin they crackled alex cherry cue card david hooley dawn of the warrior joshua sutherland deep down darren thompson insatiable forest for craig allen jedi knight winner last week for jim murray lawn tennis for grand principal lords kestrel for david robertson was a winner last week as well those are rival for Vinnie Gerard, subcontract Craig Beck with Cape of Pears, Darren Thompson, Green Tea, David Hooley, Helter Skelter, and Japanese Blonde for Leon Van Rensburg, Ozark Largo for Vinnie Gerard, Shamadal Phantom, Thomas Rogers, that's back from last season, and Shannon's Rose for John Morgan. So, called in and away, good big field for this then. Prestigious early season chase, and looks like the Greys are going to the fore. It's Helter Skelter and Lawn Tennis. Another grey in the field as well. Which is somewhere towards the back. I'm guessing that's got a bit. John Morgan, maybe not, as they get to the first of the 22. And over it they go, and they're all safely over it. And in fact, the third grey is one of David Robertson's. I think it's Lord's Kester as they get over number two. And they're all safely over that one. So we've got, we've got a John Morgan flashy grey front runner in this one. But we have got a John Morgan horse. It looks like it's making its way towards the leaders. They get to flight number three. Uh, fence number three, should I say, and they're all safely over that one with Helter Skelter settled down in front. Jedi Knight is in second, and a line of three in third as they get over fence number four, which they're all safely over, and they're passing the winning post then. Shortly, there's a the big crowd over on the far side, and two more circuits of the track to go. Whether of his biggest chase race, this I would think, with Bucko on the outside of Jedi Knight. Hilter Skelter and Dawn of the Warrior with Lawn Tennis just after that one, then Better Bob Irish and Cape of Pears, then Shannon's Rose, the John Morgan horses after that, then Deep Dale and Subcontract and Ozark Rival, Green Tea is on the inside. Just have a companion Q card is towards the back of the back with Ozark Largo just a back marker at this point. Jedi Knight is two lengths clear, coming into fence number five. Good jump there by Bucko in second. And there's a fall of their Ozark rivals gone. So Ozark rival is out of the race. There's another Ozark left. As so they get over number six. I've just got over Ozark Low Largo to go now then. Who's in the race still for Vinnie Gerard, but it's Jedi Knight in front from Bucko as they get two numbers. And oh Bucko's gone. He crashed right into that one. A crashing looking fall. And Bucko back for his third season here. Yeah, I thought he'd learn to jump properly by now. And that was a crashing fall, and Bucko is out of it. So Jedi Knight then is in the lead. Helter Skelter is second. Grappled his third as they get to this ditch. So they all get to the other side of nicely with Jedi Knight. About two and a half lengths clear of Dawn of the Warrior second. Helter Skelter the Grey is third, then Crackled and Deep Dale. An insatiable forest just took him behind them with lawn tennis trapped in on the rail. Then Shannon's rose in the pale blue, making a bit of a forward move, bit of a gap. Then to the rest of the way, headed by Shamadal Phantom and Green Tea. Japanese Blonde is in that little group as well on the outside of the grey Lord's Kestrel. And Better Bob Irish is also in that group with Q Card and Ozark Lego the back two. At the tenth, then. Nicely over that one. With the order pretty much as you were. Uh, Jedi Knight leads into this ditch. Also, safely over that one as well. So Jedi Knight and Helter Skelter. From Crackle, a couple of things back in third as they get to the 12th. And that's how Crackle was down on its nose. The tidiest of jumps for Alex Cherry's charge as they get to the 13th. And the leader was a little slow that time. There's another fall, and there's something else has gone. Green Tea's gone. So, Green Tea down at the fence that'll be the last on the next circuit. And they pass the winning post then. With that one circuit still to go, and Helter Skelter comes up on the outside of Jedi Knight in second. Lawn Tennis is third, and Shannon's Rosie is four. Dawn of the Warriors five, and Crackle is six, and Cape of Pears is seven. Then Ben of Irish and Q Card, and Lord Kester and Deep Dead and Insatiable Forest and Subcontract, and then Japanese Blonde and Shamanal Phantom, and finally Ozark Largo at the back with the three having departed Ozark rival Green Tea and Bucko as they make their way then towards the next. Helter Skelter. 
skip to that one with a good bleed of three legs and I thought it was a four it was a um a cone on the side of the fence looked like it was a jockey as they get to this ditch and there is a fall this time and looks like it's one of Darren Thompson's Cape of Pears has gone this time so quite a few casualties in this then as they come to the 16th and the leader was a bit slow over it a mistake towards the back there was by Shamadal Phantom I think as they take number 17 and all safely over that one with Helter Skelter's lead down to a length and a half to Shannon's Rose in second then Lawn Tennis is third and Jedi Knight is fourth then Dawn of the Warriors they get over that ditch that's number 18 they're all safely over that one with Helter Skelter now kicking on again two lengths clear they've still got five furlongs to go and quite a bit of jumping to do with Shannon's Rose second Jedi Knight being scrubbed along in third then comes Lawn Tennis Dawn of the Warriors next then Crackle's not out of it Japanese Blonde is now making a significant looking move moving through in the second and is almost ready to challenge his stable companion for the lead I think but it's Helter Skelter who's still got that lead from Japanese Blonde in second Jedi Knight is third Challenge Rose is fourth when round the outside Better Bob Irish is now going really well then Lawn Tennis Dawn of the Warriors subcontract Insatiable Forest is going to be looking for room as they get over the 19th and over that one they all go and they're all safely over it including the back markers they've got three more fences to take and Helter Skelter is still three clear this is the final ditch slow jump again by the leader Jack Japanese Knight now moved into second. Jedi Knight is third. Better Bob Irish is fourth. Then Lawn Tennis and Dawn of the Warrior over the final. And the second last they go. And this, this time the mistake was by Japanese Blonde. They've got one more fence to take. And it's Helter Skelter. Insatiable Forest has come through in the second. Over it they go. Insatiable Forest. Jedi Knight now they come to challenge the leader. They're racing up towards the final half. Well, it's Jedi Knight. Insatiable Forest. Jedi Knight. Insatiable Forest. And insatiable Forest. He's just getting up to take it. Insatiable Forest wins it. Jedi Knight second. Dawn of the Warrior third. And Shannon Rose was running on again and they finished pretty much in a heap which makes you think there's probably not a gold cup winner in there but insatiable forest has taken it beaten last week's winner jedi knight and insatiable forest for craig allen is the winner jedi knight jim murray second dawn of the warrior joshua Sutherland was the japanese blonde leon van Rensburg was fourth who also took fifth with long time leader helter skelter